Welcome to Premath. In this video, we got this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC that consists of uh, two triangles. This uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, ABD and the other uh, blue shaded triangle uh, ACD. As you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this side uh, AC is uh, 8 units and moreover uh, this angle uh, DAC is being represented by X whereas uh, this angle uh, ACD is uh, 2 times X and furthermore uh, this side uh, AB is equal to this segment uh, BD and this angle is our uh, 90 degrees uh, angle and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle uh, ACD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABD. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length so therefore we conclude that this uh, angle has got to be 45 degrees and likewise this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well and now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem according to this theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles as you can see in this given diagram and here we can see this angle C is our exterior angle whereas uh, these angles A and B are our uh, two opposite interior angles such that uh, this angle C is going to be equal to angle A plus angle B and now we are going to apply this uh, exterior angle theorem on this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle and here we can see this 45 degrees uh, angle is our exterior angle whereas uh, these uh, two angles uh, x uh, and 2x uh, are our opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles uh, x uh, plus 2x uh, must be equal to 45 degrees so therefore i could write down angle x uh, plus angle uh, 2x uh, is going to be equal to 45 degrees and that's going to give us uh, 3x equal to 45 degrees and now I am going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate uh, x and here we can see that this 3 and 3 is gone so therefore our angle x uh, has got to be equal to 15 degrees so therefore uh, this angle x uh, has got to be 15 degrees whereas this angle 2x means it's going to be 30 degrees angle and now we are going to focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, abc and we can see that this is our uh, special 30 60 90 degrees uh, triangle since this uh, angle is 30 degrees so this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, angle before we proceed any further let me go over the basic uh, review and let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and we can see this is our special 30 60 90 triangle since this angle is 30 degrees this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, angle is our smallest angle so therefore the side opposite to this smallest angle has got to be our smallest leg whereas uh, this angle is our largest angle which is 90 degrees so therefore uh, the side opposite to this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest leg and that is also called the hypotenuse and in such kind of uh, special 30 60 90 triangle the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg if uh, the smallest leg is 1 then the longest leg has got to be 2 and this third leg has got to be the square root of 3 and in general if this side is lowercase a then this side is going to be 2 times a and this third leg has got to be a times the 
square root of 3 and we are going to apply this concept on this uh, given diagram and here we can see this side uh, is our smallest leg whereas uh, this side is our uh, longest leg which is our hypotenuse if this side is uh, 8 units uh, then this smallest leg has got to be half of that one that is going to be 4 units and this uh, third leg uh, has got to be 4 times uh, the square root of uh, 3 and now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, ABD we know this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length so therefore uh, if this side length uh, is uh, 4 units then this side length uh, BD has got to be 4 units as well and now let's make an observation we know that uh, this whole uh, side BC length uh, is 4 times square root of 3 and this segment uh, BD length uh, is 4 so therefore uh, this remaining uh, segment uh, CD length uh, has got to be 4 times square root of uh, 3 minus uh, 4 and here is our final step now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle uh, ACD and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle is uh, this segment uh, CD whereas the height of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 4 uh, units uh, this is our height so therefore uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle ACD is going to be a half times uh, 4 times uh, this whole thing is 4 times square root of 3 minus uh, 4 and now we can see 1 divided by 2 times 4 is going to give us simply 2 and here in parentheses we could see 4 is in common so I can take 4 outside so we are going to have 4 times square root of 3 minus 1 so therefore we could write this thing as 2 times 4 times square root of 3 minus 1 and now if we multiply 4 times 2 is going to give us 8 times the square root of 3 minus 1 so the area of this blue shaded triangle turns out to be 8 times square root of 3 minus 1 square units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the blue shaded triangle area turns out to be 8 times the square root of 3 minus 1 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 5.86 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye